boy oh boy guys what is going on this is chili games and or chris i have one heck of a video for you guys honestly started out super slow and by the end of it became honestly one of the closest clutchest matches i've played so as it is on the world of warships Legends official discord this game is technically the Benson damage record so There's that I'm sure people have done more, but it's just not in the database But as you see uh, I did not have the best I Guess feeling about this game when it started because there's four destroyers and you'll see how this game unfolds. It's super slow and I think we go like a couple minutes without any DD spotted. Oh, excuse me. I'm recording this super late at night. It's actually midnight here, but I, I had a video ready to post yesterday or earlier today, I should say, and played this one and got it. So <laughs> I'm going to commentate over this one and then maybe post that one down the line I'm not sure but this one takes precedence because it's cooler and the damage is higher it's actually my probably the best game I've actually had in this game and I, and I think this is the game where I figured out really how to play this ship uh, my, one of my friend Zarkoon he's a really good youtuber uh, he's on his way to becoming a community contributor called it a uh, he I was like man I don't like Benson that much it, it's super it's super squishy I feel like it's really easy to get hit and it just you know I feel like the show velocity is god awful, and I've just been kind of struggling to really find this niche in this ship. And uh, pause for a minute. No, there is no one been spotted in this game. Like this, that's why I'm playing cautious because I'm like, it's either going to continue like this or someone's about to get bum rushed by like three DDs, and I didn't want it to be me. So, anyways, Zarkun, 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 he basically called it a mini Atlanta and I was like you know what like it is and I've actually and you'll see later in this game I found out that you don't have to be really smoked up to I guess spam your guns um, as long as you know you're in the right spot like you can shoot your guns at out of the open spotted and be basically invulnerable so that pretty much clicked for me, this game, and <laughs> worked out pretty well. We see the Jervis here, and as I'm still coming to grips with the amount of lead I need to take, I've been playing Chapayev way too much, thing. the shells are just absolute lasers, so uh, it's been difficult getting these shells to hit, but when they do hit, especially with the dispersion and the precision, you can chunk DDs pretty pretty well. I mean that that's a good solid side with like one or two K at this range. Like it's it's pretty difficult to hit, but when they do hit, it's like man. So I, I just gotta get used to it. I gotta I gotta give myself a little bit more time to adjust the play style because this is actually like like I said in like one of my Mayhem videos, Mayhem was my least favorite ship in the game. Like hundred percent hated that ship. Um kind of found out how to play it it's just god it was just not my style you know I, I don't know but getting better hopefully getting Fletcher be able to do some nasty things with it. I want to hit 200k in it uh, especially with this game here I know it's definitely possible and I think what I'm gonna do when I get Fletcher is the guns are already really good I'm going to spec out for torps so, I know Flamu um, made a Fletcher video a, little, a couple years ago and he spec'd his Fletcher out for Torps because the guns are already super good, like, I think it'd be a little bit overkill, but we'll see. Anyways, I shoot those Torps at Lernberg because I thought he was going to come in. And the only reason why I'm shooting back now is because I realized that Lernberg is shooting AP. <laughs> So, I am guns ablaze spotted here, it doesn't really matter to me. Uh, these torps have been spotted a while, and luckily we smack this Gneisenau for, what is that, four torps? 
So yeah, that was fun. Um, pretty lucky, not gonna lie. Again, if you look at the mini-map, this has been a super slow match. Um, I feel like it's always these kind of matches that kind of just boil up to like one hell of an ending. And we're getting there, I promise. And even, look at me missing this Skanizer now. Like the shell velocity, it, it takes actual calendar days for some of these shells to hit. To hit. And since Nuremberg is still firing AP, I'm trying to just knock him down here. We're, we can do some pretty consistent damage at this range. More so than he'll do with AP. And we're much more difficult to hit. So, 1v1 or we've only lost one ship, one to one, uh, just nothing really going on. I'm playing cautious because I see this big open gap here. And I'm like, man, there's probably a couple of destroyers in there. Luckily, they're all on that bottom side of the map. Uh, the friendly T-61 up there, if you, in in my opinion, um, that don't, don't, don't ever play up there in that part of the map. It's not worth it. I mean, it, you're taking yourself way too far out of the game. Um, you may get a kill over there, but it's these these games are so quick. You have to think about like, what am I doing to be effective? And to me, taking all that time to get out there to you know maybe get a kill or so, um, it just takes way too long to develop. The game will be over. Your team will be dead. So, just don't, I do not advise playing or going up there for a flank, it's just too much. T61 uh, has been pretty much useless this entire time. Not in his part, but just taking that spawn just takes way too long. I see that this guy is charging, I'm not sure why. Uh, but this is, I feel like this is a really, somewhat lucky, because uh, we end up, we end up making this guy stop in his tracks which was really good, it was really satisfying. And end up getting a fire here. I don't think he puts it out. I was hoping to bait a damage control so these torps had a chance to give him a perma flood, and that is the gold sander in a destroyer. So basically I realize that I'm not spotted, so there is no one in the center section that I can see from this angle here, and we managed to get this guy stopped. Uh, I mean, you know this guy's pissed. You know this moment when you're just sitting here. You're just watching torps come in. There's nothing you can do. Um, again, I sit behind an island here, and I am not detected. We smack this guy and take his lunch money. He actually saved his damage count, so a really good play on his part. Uh, I probably would have gotten impatient. Um, but realize we have not used any of our smokes yet. Anytime that you don't have to use a smoke, don't use it. Don't put yourself in a situation with these uh, American destroyers where you have to use it to panic. Because once you're out of a smoke screen, you are out for a long time. And that's I think that's why the lightning is so good, is because you can disengage super fast. So, moving on. Still not spotted, honestly. Uh, I have full confidence we'll be able to kill this guy. We have one permafire on him. I think two, actually. Yeah, we have two permafires. Uh, you see I'm trying to get his nose here, which isn't really working out until I think maybe this salvo we actually get it. Yeah, so three permafires. This guy's 100% dead. Uh, you see me readjust my aim towards the middle just because he's, you know, <laughs> he's dead. Uh, I could have left him there to just rot. So Dunkirk is nullified, and I think, yeah, it, it is, it's that Gen Eisenhower. Yeah, me and this Gen Eisenhower are going to get real close. So we are going to go through the depths of hell together in these next <laughs> six minutes. I can't even, I can't read that. The screen is so small when you're recording. And I think... This is the moment where I figured out that you can really spam, as long as you know you're not in danger, you can really spam out in the open like this, and there's not much they can do about it because you're so hard to hit. Um, the reason why I know that I'm pretty much invulnerable here is because I have a destroyer out in front of me, I have someone to my behind, and no destroyer is, from this range is going to be able to hit me and do significant damage. So we get lucky, start shooting this guy a lot of fire, which is big. He uses damage control. He starts turning in now, which tells me that he has advanced notice of these torps. 
Um, so I know that there's some sort of DD or someone out in front of them. And obviously I'm expecting that because the last known position was like a while ago and there was three of them down there. So anyways, I'm still shooting. I'm still trying to light a fire because I know we burned damage control. So whatever fire I set will be permanent. There is one. So at this point, we're just trying to spread our guns out as far as possible, get, get our damage into everything that we can. Um, we're kind of just waiting for the ball to drop here. I already got 120,000 damage. I didn't even realize that. Um, guess it was the Dunkirk there. T61, both of these guys are here. Unfortunately, my guns again, just at this range, it's... It's almost not worth your time. Uh, it just depends on you know if they're actively evading or not. We end up smacking them there, so I would, since I know I won't be targeted here, I'm in a good spot. And at this point, I'm just kind of going ham. We're in a pretty bad situation here, so we have got to just any target that pops up, I'm going to shoot. Uh, end up losing the Fubuki to a Torp, which kind of sucks. I don't understand why the Fubuki was that close. Uh, at this moment in the game, I'm pretty cracked. I think my reaction time is pretty good. I didn't even notice this is Sashio, but I immediately lock on to him, start shooting. Uh, Sashio knows in a 1v1 duel that, you know, even though he got the first couple salvos off of me, I can melt him super fast. Not to say that a Sashio can't do, or Akatsuki, my bad. Not to say that he can't do damage, but Benson... Benson's something else when it comes into raw DPM under 8km. It's it's pretty nasty. So, shoot some torps in there just because I won't need them for any time soon, so might as well. Destroyers love to sit in smoke screens. I've actually killed a good bit of people like that lately. Trying to get another fire on Bayer in here as he retreats. Does he die? I can't remember if he dies or not. Anyways, at this point, we're just being a maniac. We're in the circle here, so I know no one is... I'm pretty much in no danger here. Uh, Akatsuki could shoot me, but he's probably not going to hit me. And, you know, we're doing fine. I'm trying to I'm trying to protect Kanaiza now, and that's why I'm trying to, you know, kind of give a blanket and just kind of, like, shoot everything. Because I know he is pretty much like he's a big target and people get greedy and they'll go for the, the greedy target so at this point what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to stick an eyes and owl with a fire shoot torps and make a u-turn and then protect his other side thankfully um, a teammate gets killed with a torp which is massive that, that is so big that probably saved the game looking for torps uh, an eyes and is doing a good job of actually keeping moving here and we're just waiting for the torps to reload. Trying to set fires, trying, trying to bait damage control, and I think that's one of the best things that this ship does. That's why I'm gonna. That's why I'm going to spec out for torps with the Fletcher with that legendary mod. Notice that we got shot. That has got to be. That's Nuremberg still shooting AP. I save um, again, shooting more torps. So I'm shooting, and his, he's, you realize how his plane is going across the torps there? His plane just spotted those torpedoes. Um, I turned my guns with Akatsuki. I'm running away from the Gade, so he won't have the best target to shoot at. At this point, it's two against the world now. <laughs> it's pretty, I don't know, I'm pretty, I, I have a lot of high hopes at this moment in the game. Especially when I see, yeah, I, I see that and I'm like, yep, he's going to die. He dies immediately. We get super lucky here. I mean, watch watch this shot. 1500 damage at that angle with him coming out for the double strike. That was that was really satisfying. And it was at this moment I was like, shit, we have got to go. We have got to hide. And honestly, having a smoke screen here probably saved my life. I probably could have dodged anything but regardless we have the win we are good to go this gady is stalling points here which is actually really scary 
but I don't think I can win a 1v1 battle on this guy just because he has full health. And and I'm actually backing out of this smoke screen because I I think he's launching torps and I'm expecting that. And so I, the last thing I wanted before we win this game is to catch a random torp for the loss. And yeah, against all odds, we end up pulling this off. Ganizen now did a great job of staying alive. That was an absolute crazy match. Before this game ends, uh, by the way, that was the damage record, I think, uh, per Discord. But before this ends, guys, thank you so much. We are almost at 80 subscribers. Y'all are the best. Um, I love doing this, and I love bringing you guys content. Uh, please interact with me in the comments and like the video if you enjoyed. And peace, guys. See you in the next one.